This is the CS Moments. Today's topic is neoadjuvant therapy, the definition and the use. And I am Donna Grass, AJCC Technical Specialist. Now the definition of neoadjuvant therapy. It is systemic therapy, which can include chemotherapy, immunotherapy, or hormone therapy, or it can be radiation therapy. And this treatment is given prior to definitive surgical resection. Now there are some common misconceptions about neoadjuvant therapy. Some think it's any procedure or therapy followed by another procedure or therapy. For example, a surgical resection followed by another more extensive surgical resection. Another common misconception is it's any procedure or therapy treating a recurrence. For example, a surgical resection followed by resection of a recurrence two years later or surgery followed by systemic or radiation therapy. None of these are neoadjuvant therapy. Now the reasons to utilize neoadjuvant therapy, it's to reduce the risk of recurrence. The most common neoadjuvant therapy is probably chemoradiation in rectal cancer. Neoadjuvant therapy may be more effective and with fewer morbidities than postoperative adjuvant therapy. Another reason to utilize neoadjuvant therapy is to shrink the tumor so surgery may be performed. If the tumor is locally advanced and the surgeon does not think it can be removed without reducing it in size first. Other reasons to utilize. To shrink the tumor so surgery may be performed. If the tumor is resectable but without reduction in size, surgery could impair bodily functions or if the surgery were done, there would be a high morbidity for the patient and bodily functions could not be preserved. For example, neoadjuvant therapy shrinks the rectal cancer tumor, allowing the surgeon to preserve the sphincter muscle, giving patient normal bowel function. A colostomy bag would be required if that muscle was sacrificed due to tumor extension and the margins that would be needed. The facts about neoadjuvant therapy. It is definitely increasing in use. It's being expanded to more cancer sites. It's used very commonly in breast and esophageal cancer and many others. There really is no data available on a nationwide basis because you need both the staging prior to the treatment, which is the clinical staging, and you need the Y pathologic staging after the neoadjuvant therapy and the surgery so that you can look at it and see if a difference was made, if the tumor responded. Monitoring of neoadjuvant treatment response is very important. It's the only way to know whether or not it works. And there's an increased need to assess the appropriateness of this treatment choice. References for this came from the Collaborative Stage Pre-Post Treatment Staging Specifications Team and also information about this can be found in the AJCC 7th Edition Cancer Staging Manual Chapter 1. Questions can be submitted to the Cancer Forum. It's the CS form is located within the Cancer Forum and provides information for everyone and it also allows us to track what are the most commonly asked questions so that we can design future education with these things in mind. As you've just watched, this is part of our YouTube on the AJCC channel. They're short videos that cover both AJCC and Collaborative Stage topics. They cover very important concepts. This has been brought to you by the Collaborative Stage Education and Training Team and the AJCC. Thank you.